Hey guys, back in the kitchen today, but this time I'm doing something a little different. I was going to make some bread today and I thought, ooh, I'll do like a quick little snippet because it has occurred to me that when I talk to people, sometimes I'm lacking in the explanation. I just assume people know what I'm talking about and um, they really don't. So <laughs> I just wanted to jump on here really quick. I'm gonna make a cottage loaf today, which you'll see in the end. I'll kind of, um, I'll do like a little video snippet of pieces just so you can see the process. I'm not gonna do like a whole long video on it today. Um, if you really wanna know about bread making, then hop on and um, go to one of my classes. I've got four classes coming up. I think there's two availabilities left in um, October, and then I'm gonna add more classes as we go because I've realized there's such a big response. A lot of people need to know this and are interested. So we're gonna do some hands-on bread making classes right here in my kitchen, and I'm super excited for that. So if that sounds like something you'd be into, uh, getting your hands dirty, learning about basic kneading, uh, milling, things like that in my home, in a small group, a very intimate gathering in my kitchen, then um, sign up online because it's going to be fun. But anyways, what I really was here and I wanted to talk about is I'm going to use um, white flour, but it's probably a lot different than the white flour that you're thinking of because most people buy their flour from the store. And a few years back, I quit that completely. I've always been a bread maker. I got that from my mom. I love, 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 love bread. And my kids eat a lot of bread and we always have bread on the counter. Um, which now is such a taboo thing because of, you know, gluten and it's like, it's the enemy, um, but it's really not. And especially if you do it healthy and you do it the right way. So a few years back, I started milling and making my own flour. And so what that entails, I've talked before, I was talking to somebody the other night about how I store wheat berries. And she was like, you store what? What's a wheat berry? And I thought, oh, I just assume people know this, but I didn't used to know this before I started. So um, I just wanted to break it down and just show you what wheat berries are. Okay, so before your flour is made, this is what it looks like. This is a wheat berry. This is like the little seed of the plant. This is the edible part that you're going to eat that will be ground up. Before it's ground up, it looks like these little seeds. And these seeds actually can be stored for quite a long time. So I have several types of wheat um, and grain. There's different kinds and uh, we'll go into more of that in the classes, but I hold them in these five gallon buckets. So this is full and then I've got, it's got a screw on lid so it's airtight. That's how I keep my wheat berries. Now, if there is no moisture, and animals, insects, things like that don't get into your wheat, which they won't because it's an airtight container, then your wheat berries last for years and without going bad. However, as soon as it is milled, AKA made into flour, it goes bad quickly. In fact, we're gonna go into that a lot more in the class, but the reason that I don't buy store-bought flour, or at least not very often do I buy store-bought flour and I try to mill is because of the nutrition benefits. So the actual wheat berry itself has 40 of the 44 nutrients that we need in a day, which is amazing if you think about it. They're just packed with goodness. Now, the reason that I don't buy store-bought flour is because store-bought flour doesn't have all the components of a wheat berry. It's actually separated in a factory and you are getting a very small portion of that actual berry. And unfortunately, the portion they take out is the part that's loaded with nutrients, which is why you see on the label that flour is enriched. Um, it's actually colored with caramel coloring to make it look healthier or more weedy, but it's actually not at all. In fact, if it was um, just pure milled flour, then it would go rancid. So it's actually something you wanna do fresh on the spot. So a lot of people are like, well, mill, what does that look like? Do you have a huge milling machine? So let me just show you what it looks like real quick. I've already milled. This is my milling machine. They look different. There's a bunch of different kinds. I started out with a KitchenAid attachment that just went right on my KitchenAid and milled. Um, this mills more, it has a more capacity. I didn't do a lot of flour because that's about all I'm gonna need today. So you're gonna put your wheat berries in the top. Basically your container will go under, it has a lid. Um, and then you turn it on and 
it grinds up the wheat berries, spits out flour. Here you have fresh flour with all 40 nutrients in it and not lacking, it's not enriched, it's not colored, it's just pure. And so this is how I do bread. And I thought that you guys might find that kind of interesting because its I, I realize it's uncommon and I don't wanna just talk like I assume everybody knows what I'm talking about. So I don't want you to think that there is a dumb question because there isn't a dumb question. You know what I knew before I started milling bread? Nothing. So someone had to answer my questions and I'm glad that they took the time to answer it and didn't just assume that everybody knew and didn't make me feel stupid for not knowing. So if you have a question, don't ever hesitate to ask because I'm just, I'm happy to answer it if I can. And if you really wanna know more, if this piques your interest, sign up for the bread classes because that's where you're really, really gonna know um, where my heart is behind it, the reasons, how to, there's gonna be um, learning curves, uh, benefits, all of that. Uh, the pros, the cons, we'll cover all of that in class. So um, definitely look for that in the future. But I'm going to make a short little video for you about my cottage loaf, and I hope you like it when it's done. It's very appealing. And I'm gonna just maybe talk in like a British accent the rest of the day and drink some tea. So I hope you guys enjoy this video.